Why hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel Miss Danny Feinstein here and today in this video you are going to accompany me along a DEXA scan so a scan of my body composition that is going to lay out my lean body mass so my muscle mass my fat mass my water weight and then my bone density so I'm super excited to get this done I've never had it done and I think it'll be an awesome measure to do over the years to see how my body changes and also to keep track of my bone density to make sure that I'm aging healthily and I have healthy bones which is super important so hopefully I will see you next in the clinic if I can film there fingers crossed so before I show you my scan and my results I thought it would be helpful to show you a visual body composition which is going to go right here so this is me in my bikini not that I feel very comfortable with showing all of YouTube this but I thought it would be helpful because the majority of people that I watch on YouTube that show their body composition are between 140 and 120 pounds not that that's bad by any means but I'm just a little bit different I'm 5'7 and I'm about 160 pounds right now so I just thought it would be helpful to see a different body shape and size back in the day I would have thought that 160 pounds would look a lot different but now now I know that muscle weighs more than fat and takes up less space so seeing as I have a decent amount of muscle uh, that is why I weigh what I do and look like what I do um, I think so anyways I just wanted to share that uh, and then another caveat here is the test or the scan uh, the scan is sped up 10 times fast it took about 15 or so minutes and it is an x-ray although it has very minimal amounts of radiation it does have radiation involved in it so i don't think doing it on a regular basis is a healthy thing to do for you but once in a while i think once every six months to a year is okay i think but i would definitely look into that as well so without further ado here are the results from my scan this is my body right here scanned from head to toe and then here are the results so going from the date measured it is february 6th today i'm 28.5 years old i should say my height so i'm 170 centimeters tall or that's about 5 7. my total body mass is 161.2 pounds with that said that's with my clothes on all of my clothes so I might be a little bit less than that naked then um, my body fat percentage is 30.7 and my fat mass is 47.6 and my lean body mass is 107.54 or then going down to my fat distribution so for Android fat Android fat is like the fat around your tummy area someone with more of this type of fat resembles more of an apple this is more of like a male distribution and a less healthy distribution because weight around the midsection can mean weight all in around the organs which can make them not function as well if you're female this is what you're probably gonna be more of gynoid fat so that is at 39.8 and my ratio of the those two of android to gynoid is 0.8 and apparently healthy is anything below one so apparently the technician said this is quite healthy and then bmi which i absolutely hate this measure it says i'm overweight I don't agree with this measure. Uh, one of my professors in university said that BMI is just as much a measure of fatness as it is muscularity because all it's measuring is your weight divided by your height squared. So it doesn't tell you anything about your fat mass or your muscle mass. So those of you that tend to hold more muscle mass are going to be heavier because muscle weighs more than fat. And then you potentially could be registering as overweight or even like some bodybuilders are obese, which is unfortunate that this measure makes you feel that way this is a good measure to be used on like a population scale but not on like an individual basis from my understanding so then going here this is my uh, bone mineral density so my score is quite high apparently anything above negative one is good for a bone density score and I'm 1.1 so apparently that's very good good I've got healthy bones which I'm stoked on now the next one is an interesting measure it is my resting metabolic rate so if I do absolutely nothing for a day and just lay in bed all day I will burn about 1540 calories so 
yeah, that never happens. And I eat quite a bit in a day. So I'm assuming with all my activity, I'm a lot higher than that. Probably around like 2,500, I'm assuming with all my activity on top of it. So this is a kind of cool little breakdown here. So it's my lean mass balance. So it's showing the regions of my body. So my arms, trunk, legs, and then total body. And then the distribution of my lean body mass on from left or from right to left. So they're all about even, you know, they're off by like half a pound to one and a half pounds. Uh, the technician was saying that if there was a big discrepancy between sides, that can infer that you had an injury there. So let's say you had an injury in your right arm, you didn't use it for quite a while. Chances are this value would be quite a lot less than that one, just because it would have less uh, lean body mass, less muscle tissue. So this is probably the coolest part of it, other than the bone mineral density, is my body composition that's broken down into all regions of my body. And then it goes from the percentages to then the weights so like you can go to your left arm and okay it has 2.5 pounds of fat and 5.23 pounds of lean body mass and then you can go to the other arm and see if they're similar so a little bit more fat on my right arm but also a little bit more uh, muscularity on my right arm so it's like super super thorough and it would be very interesting then to follow this up in a year, you know, a few years time and be able to see all the specific changes all over your body. I would highly recommend getting a DEXA scan. I am super impressed by the amount of information that came from that exam, from the really thorough breakdown of my fat mass and lean body mass to the bone mineral density, which I think is such an important measure to find out to make sure that you've got healthy bone and just to see where your fat distribution is like. Do you have a lot of fat around your midsection and could that be potentially causing you some health problems or that could potentially lead to health problems in the future? So super interesting. I can't wait to get this redone in like six months to a year. I'm not really sure what my plan is. I'm on project intuitive eating for 2018 and I'd like to lose around 10 pounds. I just feel a little heavy for myself right now. I feel great in my body at the same time just with, with eating healthier I feel really strong and you know I feel confident but I just feel like I would feel a little bit better if I was a little less heavy so with my intuitive eating I'm pushing for some intuitive eating weight loss so depending on where I feel I'm at in about six months I may get it redone then or I may get it done in a year from now so I guess this is a good point for me to cap off this video if you like this video you learned something from it please give it a thumbs up it helps support my channel and if you would like to see more videos like these subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye